Today, we are talking about drums. When we were a trio, I, I tried to write drum parts that, that were more intricate um, to fill up the empty space because we didn't have a rhythm guitar player and stuff. And, but then when we talked about adding a member instead of a second guitar player, it was, let's add a second drummer. And uh, it started as Ryan's idea, but we all sort of started talking about it. And I really spent a long time thinking about you know, the pros and cons of this. I knew there was going to be uh, a negative response, that uh, there was going to be those people that said, why are you doing this? This is unnecessary and stupid. <laughs> and um, initially, I, I was on that side. I, when Ryan brought the idea up, I, that's what I said. It's unnecessary. Um, but he had, a, he had a different vision. He had an idea that we could be intricate and we could, we could make it our own. And he got me on his side. He talked me into it. And uh, I talked Joe into it. If there was anyone that was going to do it, it had to be Corey. So, I met the Cantharone guys pretty much drinking beer at their house and listening to metal because And I was skeptical because I didn't know how that would go. I don't really, or didn't really think that it would go well. I would say, yeah, skeptical. Uh, then Ryan explained to me his idea behind it and how it was kind of working as one tag team, two-headed octopus, um, wall of earthquake sounds. I was pretty into that. So we gave it a whirl, and then I learned all this dude's retarded parts. <laughs> So uh, when you first joined, uh, what was that like? It was it was pretty pretty intense. It was pretty intense. Um, the parts you were already playing in the trio were busy, so I knew lining it up would be hard. Um, and I think that that initial little while, the first month or two, I pretty much lived here. I mean, I pretty much yeah. have have yeah. had a bedroom. Yeah. With Down the hall. Actually a bed in it. Actually even. a bed, yeah. Um, <laughs> it was a lot, and we spent a lot of time, a lot of hours each weekend, just playing drums together and just running parts together, and then deciding what we could do different. Um, a lot of it is the same some of the time, I would say. Yeah. Definitely. And over time, has we have both changed our parts. 
Mm-hmm. We started yeah. started playing the same things and then gravitated towards wanting to be different and playing off of each other. And yeah. I, the experience has, for me has been great. I don't think a lot of metal drummers get to have that percussive bouncing back of ideas between yeah. two drummers. That's a pretty rare thing. And I think that helps us establish a groove and a sense of humor. <laughs> because yeah. two drummers yeah. is just fucking ridiculous. And- we started getting together and you were living here pretty much i mean i we had friends that would even say that we were like saying the same things and acting the same way and sometimes like we would throw into conversations with the exact same word at the same time completely on accident and it was that was like the kind of stuff that we had to do in order to play off of each other and get really comfortable with just the other spent person. a lot of time around each other a lot of time a lot of time So the new stuff, what we're doing currently is more, more interactive, I guess. Yeah. But it doesn't exactly start that way. Um, when the guys are writing riffs and bring ideas to the table, we kind of each write our own individual parts. Yeah. Um, it starts as a separate thing. They do. It starts as two very separate drummers playing different I- ideas and, I mean being free to do whatever. And then we kind of evaluate from there until it works its way into being an eight-limbed rhythm track and we are really synced up part by part. In the song we wrote together, we have parts where it's alternating 16ths and I'm only doing off beats and you're only doing on beats. And it's it's stuff like that in the old stuff that we would just do the same because it's totally possible and whatever. But now it's... You know, we're playing with the two drummer thing, and it's getting more creative and yeah, uh, yeah, smoother running. It's I don't know. It's really taken on a a whole different life of its own. I think like when when it started, we were learning songs that had already been written and trying to do something different to change the songs a little bit. But now we're able to actually take a step back and write it that way, knowing that there's two different people and that we're going to be able to play off of each other, and it's made the parts seem way more interesting. And yeah, being able to start from scratch with the both of us is great, because yeah. a lot of the times, a feel, I mean, the feel of the song, the rhythm track is what's going to dictate, I mean, the mood and, you know, overall yeah. feel of the piece. So having two two ideas is sometimes great. I mean, we've gotten... It's basically... Limits are endless i mean yeah. team effort yeah, yeah. we've been I able guess. to pull in influences from just all over the board yeah and between and the five dudes in the band yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of influence <laughs> different directions too yeah but we i mean we write it in and the new stuff is i would say more interlocking and more creative in a sense yeah. mm-hmm. but is simpler and we're learning to do it more streamlined smoother um, so if maybe you were lis- watching us play live and not actually seeing the stage, you might not know. Yeah. But yeah, really, if you listen, I mean, there's a lot more going on. <laughs>
become our sound. It's become who we are. And it's our thing. <laughs> it's it's what we do. And it's that's it, you know. There's still people that say it's stupid and unnecessary, but whatever. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> that's all I got to say about it.